Get heart smart with University of Maryland, Baltimore, Washington Medical Center. If you have a heart attack, majority of the times what you need is to have the blood vessel open. Uh, we are able to do it in 95 to 99% of the time with stents or ballooning. Um, there are a small percentage of patients who have a heart attack to certainly do an acute heart attack do need bypass surgery. Bypass and stenting are just improving the flow to the muscle of the heart, um, whereas stenting is done through either, most of our patients are done through the wrist. Uh, if we can go from the wrist, we go from the leg, go all the way to the heart, we inject dye in each of the blood vessels, and then we see if, how many vessels are blocked, where the blockages are located, is in an acute uh, ST elevation MI, which is a very critical thing where we need to open up the vessel right away, uh, or this is in a setting of uh, what we call a non-ST elevation heart attack where we have more time. Bypass is uh, are recommended for patients who have diabetes with multiple blockages, whose heart squeeze is not normal, who have blockages in critical areas called the left main, or they have what we call left main equivalent where the main vessel of the front, the side, and the bottom of the heart have severe blockages. Um, uh, but we have what we have, uh, we have a multidisciplinary approach for these patients where we discuss with a, uh, a CT surgeon who does the bypass surgery along with discussing with the patient and their families and make an uh, informed uh, decision as to how we're going to treat this patient, how we're going to revascularize this patient. Um, certainly continuing medications, risk factor modification, exercise program is all part of care plan that we develop for our patients.